Good morning, everyone. From sunny Florida, I'm trying something new this time because I have been away from Michigan, my home, for almost six weeks now, and it's absolutely beautiful and lovely, and I decided to say hello from this area. Um, today, I'm talking a little bit about breathing, which is such an important component of everything about our life. We were born as, as well, <laughs> oxygen came into our body and that's what keeps us alive. But I think maybe in my blog today you're going to read a little bit about not only how important that oxygen is to our body and our health, but something that we can do something about. I don't know about you, but I never gave a lot of thought to breathing for a really long part of my life. It just comes naturally. We don't have to do anything. It's just a natural part of living. But yet deep breathing is what our body really needs to have in order to be able to maintain the health that we need. And I began figuring this all out after my near-death experience when I was a attempting to heal myself and realizing how little I was paying attention to the breathing and it was pointed out to me in so many areas. When you begin to study yoga, jigong, energy medicine, exercising, stretching, all of those components talk about how vitally important breathing is. And so today I'm going to show you one that I came by from a man called Lee Holden who has a CD about Zhigong and the resources on our website and on my blog today, excuse me for moving away, but he, this video is one that both my husband and I now are finding very valuable. Now this particular one is made Jigong for seniors and I'm going to be talking and featuring this a little bit more in another blog, but he does an excellent job of talking about why breathing is so vitally important to have the energy flowing through our bodies and what it does for all the body's organs, all of our vitally important pieces, not just our heart and our lungs, but all of our other organs as well. And one of the techniques that I learned early comes with a funny story. I learned, I went to take voice lessons at a point in my life and an amazing teacher she pointed out to me and said, Terry, do you realize you are breathing backwards? You are not getting that oxygen into your lungs at all. And I had always breathed deeply, but thought I was breathing deeply correctly. And that was lifting up my shoulders and pulling it into my chest which we all tend to do when we get tired or when we're, we're stressed, we just go <sighs> and that's the type of breathing that is vitally important to us but not as effective as deep breathing from our belly is. And when Lee Holden shows it, he talks about in Qigong, they call it wave breathing and how important it is for us to breathe from our belly, fill the air from the bottom up. When our belly comes out, that's what the deep breath, and I'm going to show you right now as I take a very deep breath, that it's filling up from the base, from the bottom of my belly, and my belly actually pulls out. I can feel it. And then we're bringing up that air into our lungs and filling our lungs. A singer does that. No wonder they have such a glow of health when they're singing. Because when we sing, we get the benefits of that breathing. But we need to do that in other times during our lives, during our day, very often. Your right hand is on your chest. The left hand is on the belly. And as you are bringing up that air in Qigong, you're moving while you're doing that breathing. And you're, the flows of the Qigong are to help that energy flow while you are doing all of these exercises. But I just wanted to share that part of the breathing and how 
vitally important it is to pull it up from the belly up through the chest and then keep it going in a wave motion while you take many breaths again and again and as that part of deep breathing it becomes a part of you you'll find yourself doing that much more naturally than you would have done a long time ago now it's coming second nature to me but it didn't used to and I thought I wanted to share that little trick with you and also so many people ask do I keep my mouth closed and breathe through my nose for the most part we do want to breathe through our nose and bring it in to our body but as you let it go there are times when opening your mouth will also help to relieve some of the stress and calm your body in meditation when you are doing some of these deep breathing exercises you want to make sure that your body calms afterwards and actually opening your mouth a little bit after it before you try to calm your body into a quiet state is very helpful when you are using breathing in yoga if you have a really good yoga instructor they're explaining all along what it is that you why the breathing is so extremely important and until I learned that my yoga was not nearly as effective as it is today because I'm realizing how important it is to breathe at the right times and in the right places and what a difference it makes to get that energy flowing through. <laughs> we have a plane joining us you know, outside our, our rented house. So I just wanted to say thank you for joining me today and I hope you'll enjoy our blog at www.thelightgap.com and some of the breathing exercise is talked about in our book, The Light Gap. So I'm hoping that you'll look that up in the chapter that we're talking about chakras and, and the exercise that I use in the morning for um, moving energy prior to meditation. So enjoy and I hope you are enjoying wherever you are as much as we're enjoying the beauty of being out in nature during this very cold time up in Michigan from our home. Thank you. We'll see you again.